Seismic Audio, SLAF, SALAF 12.2. So this is the dual two version. Um, I got it to test it out because it looked pretty fresh on uh, line. And uh, it is, it's a, it's a, it's a good subwoofer. It, it goes for about, at the time of this, it was about 140 shipped. Uh, and you could probably resell it for about $300 uh, to double your money. The only downside is this, uh, it's engraved. So I would cover this with a, a sticker if you're gonna rebadge it. Uh, the, the vent on there was making quite a bit of noise. Just plastic. So I just jabbed a screwdriver in it and popped it off. So other than that, it, it's pretty much good. Um, it looks like it, uh, it's a copy of uh, SoundCubed. Uh, I think this frame is used by them, that group, which is called Ace, uh, as a build house over in China. And then um, they also make Massive. Uh, I think some Chinese made uh, digital designs. Uh, who else? Probably a bunch of other ones. So I um, wanted to show you this a little bit. Uh, oh, that's pretty hollow inside. You can feel uh, it's, not a, it's not a solid. Uh, oh, it's, it's probably a boot. There's quite a bit of space in there. You can fill around with your thumb, like when I'm visiting your mom. Uh, it's not quite a mega roll, but it's uh, in between. It's like a five series that we have blue stitch. Nice, just use this as the inner cap uh, and then put your outer cap uh, above it or even if you want to tear it off and put an inner cap on it to, like, to secure it in place. I don't think you should need to, but uh, if you're gonna be doing a lot of these, I would just so that these don't pop off and also that, that, so that there's no way to identify where you got it from, so. This is a, uh, I've been seeing this lately. I saw this, um, this boot uh, mold. Uh, this just uh, screws onto the back. You can actually take that off and then replace it with a wraparound type. Um, this molding, of course, is a copy of JL Audio. Uh, and I also saw it on the recoil uh, gaskets. They also copied it, um, whatever. It's um, typically when you see a copy like that, like a, it's, it's blatant. Um, the primary company like say in this case, JL Audio has already abandoned their tooling or abandoned the design. And so China just sort of takes it and goes, this looks cool, people will remind this. So if you want to remove this, uh, it's a pretty thick piece of plastic, hard plastic, ABS, and you can see the screws. You should be able to just unscrew it and then pop it off. Sometimes they glue it as well. That might cause a little bit of problems. You want to be careful when you pull that off so that you don't rip this around when you're rebadging it. I do like this because uh, it has what looks like a nine inch spider landing. I can't verify that unless I cut it apart, but it looks like a nine inch. It's not quite a 10 inch. And then you guys might be able to identify the frame. So let me get that boot off real quick. The boot is not badged, which is good. See, there's no imprint or design on it or even a screen print. Let me pull that off to see if it's a triple stack. The boot's kind of ribbed for her pleasure on those in-betweens. That's, I guess, to make it feel stronger. Uh, domestic ones don't really do that, but it's uh, it's kind of nice. It makes a good uh, tight fit on there. So it's hard getting it off. It is a triple stack, triple uh, 20 millimeter, which is basically three quarter inch. And then you can even see the markings where they did the, uh, it's a stamp. Um, you can do a hot forge or a cold forge. It's probably a cold forge, which is cheaper. Uh, and then they actually did mill or put this on a, usually whether they do stamp out the top plate and then they put this on a lathe real quick just to smooth out the side so you don't get these uh, ridges that you get. So it's like, it's basically tearing the metal when it goes through the, the machine and punches it out. So let's get some TSPs. Uh, pretty standard as suspected. Uh, this is the initial sweep. FS is about 36 Hertz. Let's go ahead and find the VAS. Pretty small coming in at 1.4. So there's the parameters. Uh, all around a really good buy. I highly recommend this one. Even if you just for daily use or just something that, fuck, um, a P3 costs like $200. So, and this thing way outperforms that. It would be on par with like, even better than a T1 from Rockford. Something like that. And then I, I would actually put this up against the W7, 12W7. So instead of buying a 12W7, buy this for $140 shipped from Amazon. Link is in the description. Seismic audio. There it is. Orale essay.